Hey guys, Jacob here, and today I will show you how to use Advertisement API and download the reports using Python or any programming language. This is a continuation of the series that uh, I want to record on the Advertisement API for Amazon in general. I already recorded the video which covers overall the Advertisement API and why is it, how you can use it, what you can build with that. You can watch it actually here. And in this video, we'll go into meat and potatoes and start using it right away. Let's start. Before we start, I just want to let you know a little bit about Delta Logic. So Delta Logic is a custom software agency fully dedicated to building tools around Amazon and other marketplaces. And in particular, if you're watching this tutorial, you probably are interested to building some PPC tool, a reporting solution for your clients, or maybe getting more into Amazon Marketing Cloud. All of this is possible and we can definitely help you here. As you worked already with hundreds of clients, Having a team of 20 engineers allows us to build any tool in the industry. We are Amazon verified partner, so if you are interested, let us know in the comments or contact us directly at contact at deltalogic.com or visit our website deltalogic.com. Let's continue with the video. We are here on the official documentation of the, of the advertisement API, so let's go for the overview. So. Amazon Advertisement API. As I said in the previous video, this is the REST API that allows us to programmatically connect to the advertisement console and get data from there or push the data back there, right? And what does it mean? You can manipulate the advertisement, um, for example, set up the bits, you can uh, generate the reports, then afterwards you can display them, you can create the PPC tools and so on. All of the biggest tools that are industry, like Perpetua, Helium 10 tools, Jungle Scout tools, uh, basically tools related to advertisement. All of those companies, they use the advertisement API. So in order, if you want to build those tools or something similar, you need to learn how to uh, use the API. And yes, in order to connect, pretty much um, you have to do three things. So how to establish a client uh, application. You need to do first, create a login of Amazon application. So all of the requests to Amazon Advertisement API are made by a client application administered by login with Amazon. The client application is free to create and no approval is required to this step. So the step number one is pretty clear. Step number two, this is actually harder because you need to apply for permission to access to the API and Amazon has to approve it. And uh, here they say that the approval might take up to 72 hours. We actually uh, did it only once and now it's super simple because we can connect multiple clients accounts uh, to one account and basically have access to them through the API. So if you are, for example, running Amazon agency, you just have to do it once and then you, you can create a lot of features uh, around that and, and request data or push it back to the uh, client's accounts through an account pretty much. Then you have to assign API access to your login of Amazon application. Uh, and once your application is, so pretty much once your application is approved, you'll enable your e client application to make request to the API. Let's do it. First step, you need to create a login of application and click here. So create a login of application. I won't be going in such a detail into the whole process that you can do it on your own or if you want help, you can always reach out to us. Um, we actually did it multiple times, so it shouldn't be the problem, but for the for sake of this video, I want to focus mostly on the programmatic way and show you what's possible with code. However, still, I'll show you a few things here. So register with Amazon developer. You have a link here, developer, Amazon developer. Actually log in here. Okay, so I'm actually logged in. Once you're logged in, you should go to login with Amazon console and here you'll actually, let me go back to the documentation. So once you have your account, you'll have to create a new LWS security profile. This is something I have here. I'll just click here to create a new one. Uh, you'll put your name, uh, your description, your URL, and once you have it, you actually see it here. And then, of course, uh, you'll have to show your client ID and client secret that we will need later on for to, to make the successful requests into the API. So, so once we have this, you will have to retrieve your security credentials. This is something I just showed you a moment ago and go to the next step. So the next step is the, the hardest, I think, because you need to apply for Amazon Advertisement API access, right? And they will tell you here in documentation how to do it. You have to do it through the Amazon Ads Partner Network. Again, I have actually account here, so I won't be able to apply again, but pretty much, so as you see here, I have actually multiple client account accounts here. 
and my main one, uh, Delta Logic. You'll have to apply for the APE access um, as a partner or as a direct advertise advertiser. This is basically uh, up to you. Okay, so step number three is assign API access to login with Amazon application. Uh, this is a little bit tougher and I won't be able to show it to you since I already have my refresh token to all of our client accounts and I don't, don't want to regenerate it because then of course all of the client's accounts will fail. But basically you have to follow those steps. Uh, if you need help, let me know in the comments or reach out directly to us and uh, our CTO or one of our developers will be able to actually f help you with this process. Um, but yeah, pretty much once you have it, you will also need to add the SER account to the advertisement API and you can do it actually just by going to administrator account access and settings, linked accounts. And as you see here, we have uh, all of our clients linked accounts to our main one. And that's why we can actually access uh, their advertisement data through our credentials. So you should link the account, invite the, your seller account to your advertisement account, and then a seller should get the email with it, with the invitation, and you'll have it actually linked together. And also, just as an interesting fact, if you are actually applying to become a, a verified partner or advanced partner, uh, this is also how they go through your ads, but they go through all of the linked accounts here. So that's why Amazon agencies, they are usually the ones who are verified or, or are advanced partners because they have a lot of account, client accounts connected to one uh, big advertisement account. All right, so let's start with the API itself. Let's first maybe talk about different URL prefixes for your region. Uh, and this particular video will be just using one of those, I'll have to actually think which one I want to show you, maybe US or maybe Europe, um, but those are the URLs. It's quite similar that SP API has. They also have different URLs for different marketplaces, but uh, here in advertisement is just less because you have general EU one, you don't have like a Poland, Germany, uh, and so on. You just have the European one. And now let's jump directly to code because uh, I'll, I'll show you um, how to do requests and so on um, by the example, not just by showing you documentation. All right, so we are in a Jupyter notebook. You can actually use any code editor. It can be VS Code, it can be PyCharm. Uh, I just want to use a v, uh, Jupyter notebook so I can execute cells um, and show you the actual results just for sake of this tutorial. But obviously when you're doing the production code, you're building the app, it's, it's, it's different. So I have my credentials uh, actually imported here. I'll also import library requests. So we have those two done. And yeah, let me show you the first. Okay, and let me show you first cell. So pretty much we have the URL. We first need to get the access token. And then afterwards we'll be using our access token. So access token is basically the token that is limited with time. It expires after some time. It's a secure, secure way of doing the request because if someone gets the access token, like if you actually steal my access token, uh, you won't be able to do the request by the time this video works, right? So. It expires in some time. Uh, let's actually use it. Let me show you how to do it. All right, so this is the response from the from this code. And what in interests us the most is the access token because we will be using the access token later on for the request uh, and it expires in one hour. So yeah, basically if it expires, you need to um, get it one more time and you, you have to refresh it. All right, so we have our access token assigned to the variable. And now what we have, what we want to do is we have to, we want to get the profile ID of the seller account that we want to use. So as I already told you, I have multiple seller accounts, but I just, I'm particularly interested into retrieving a report from one, one seller account and I'll do it right now. So the link for that is actually advertising API EU Amazon com v2 profiles. Now the headers is uh, the authorization bar with the token, the access token that we got from top and Amazon advertising API client ID. And this is the client ID that we also have uh, from, 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 from before. Now we are doing the request and let me show you the actual response. All right, so we got our response. We have multiple uh, profile these uh, data information and so on. Unfortunately, I will have to hide it for a purpose of this video, but I will tell, take the uh, one profile D that I'm particularly interested in. So for example, here, this could be a profile ID that I'm particularly interested in. Um, but of course, for the for this video, I'll use different one and I'll just include it uh, on top. All right, I assigned profile ID pretty much like this above. I don't want you to see it. And now what we'll do is we'll create the, 
we'll create the request that will create a report. All right, so for the purpose of this video, we will be downloading the advertisement products sponsored products report. Here is basically um, documentation about the reports. For example, here is sponsored products report types and all of the others that you can you can gather. So I won't be going in detail into the documentation right now. I'll just show you a simple uh, function that covers the reports from the API. So this is the URL. We are getting the advertisement product sponsor products. Uh, I'm, I'm putting the start date, end date, um, pretty much those two, but we can extend it, that doesn't matter. Configuration, we get this producer product gr group by advertiser. We'll get those columns. Again, you can pick diff different one. Report type ID here, timing daily, and format GZP JSON that we'll later on extract. For the headers, we have those headers that we have to use. So we need to still client ID, profile ID, profile ID of a client that we re just retrieved, access token, and yes, let's do it right now. All right. so. We have the 200, which means it worked. And here, uh, this is the response. So right now you requested the report. However, report is not done. It's actually being generated. You can see the status here. It's actually pending. So it works very similar to SP API with the reports that I showed you in the video. All right, so from this request, we actually need a report ID. So we got a report ID. I'll actually take it here. So, so that's our report ID. And now the last part is actually to download this report. And for this, we need this URL. So reporting reports, report ID, we need our headers. And I'll be doing the report here. So as we see here, we actually got the response. Our report is ready. We have the URL to it. Now I'll actually download it. So what you can do is actually get the URL. I'll click on it. And so just so you know, this is our report. It's all here. It's actually huge. And from there, you can do whatever you want with the report, right? You can load it to your app. You can load it to the Power BI or some visual data visualization tool. You can parse it to CSV, read it in Excel. Like there's countless of opportunities and possibilities uh, with that. That was it for this video. I just wanted to show you very quickly how to connect to uh, Amazon Advertisement API and download a selected report for a selected client. And as you see, it's not that hard. And if you actually need help and you want to build a custom tool, we are here to help. Uh, you can simply reach out to us to or go to deltalogic.com. We have a different services. So even though if you don't want to develop a fully solution from scratch with us, or you just need a slight help, slight push, uh, you can book our CTO on or one of our developers for consulting session. That was it for this video, guys. I'll actually continue recording videos on advertisement API since I already cover most of the selling partner API. So if you have any topics in mind, please let me know in the description. Make sure to subscribe to this channel as I'm dropping those value bombs as much as I can. And yes, thanks a lot for watching guys and I see you in the next one.